What's up YouTube? An old Swamp back here for another review. Hope you enjoyed my last video. Uh, today, as you can see behind me, I'm gonna be reviewing the Pelican Bass Raider. Um, I bought this last fall from a guy in Tennessee and haven't regretted this purchase one bit. Uh, used the heck out of it this fall. Uh, caught so many fish out of it this spring. I'm, I typically like the bass fish, um, so that's primarily what I'm doing out of this. So I am going to go all around this boat, the trailer, everything, kind of show you my modifications that I've done to it that I've learned off of YouTube. Uh, so maybe you pick up something uh, from me and or maybe you leave something in the comments say, hey, you need to be doing this. So, all right, let's get to the good. I'll start right here at the front of the trailer, just like any other trailer here. Um, I did put this little trailer jack on there. It's got the swing back. Um, you know, as light as this thing is, it still gets kind of heavy. It's so much easier. I think like maybe 30 bucks from Walmart, it was worth it for me. I, I may be totally wrong on that price, but somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. So uh, we'll move up to right here. So this guy's uh, that I bought this trailer from, again, is a jet ski trailer. Uh, he has kind of customized the front of it here to fit uh, the front kind of molding of this boat. Uh, this is all like two befores uh, and marine carpet there, and it fits snug in there. Um, one way to strap this boat in was to use this, and the trailer motor wouldn't be here. Go here, underneath the chair there, right th right through here as well and obviously these will be back this way and then he had it to where it would hook back here and you can see this nice little platform uh, that he has here um, probably just some kind of uh, plywood there so um cool trailer tail lights work i got some i bought some new tires for it got my spare there um but he really did a good job on that uh go back to the front here uh you probably saw this rope i use this rope when i'm unloading the boat uh from time to time one thing one modification that i saw on youtube is this little paracord here or you can use any kind of string you want to i kind of made a loop there comes down uh to the back of my boat here and clips you can unclip this and you have a rope that uh, you can kind of knock your boat off the trailer and pull it back into shore there. So um, there may be a fancy word for that or name for that rope. But I have no clue what it is. So anyway, all right, so going to the trailer motor. So when I first bought this boat, it had a 30 pound thrust Minn Kota on it. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. I ended up going with the Endura C2 uh, 40 pound Minn Kota. Uh, I have not regretted it one bit. Pushes the boat around with two people in it uh, very quickly. Um, it's It's been nothing but, but good for me. I uh, attached this little plug here that plugs into the front of the boat. I do recommend that. Keep the battery out of your way. Uh, and that, that runs to the back back here. And you know, keeping keeping weight in the back of the boat is kind of important so your boat doesn't fishtail. I did add this uh, fuse uh, box here. So one thing you probably noticed that has changed um, when you watch this video is this upgrade, the uh, Minn Kota Trailer Motor Power Center. Um, in my while making my video, the majority of it I had a fuse tied in here 
and I just had so many connections going on. I didn't want to have to worry about that fuse blowing and you know if a connection is bad or anything like that while I'm on the water. So I went ahead and dropped about 50 bucks on this thing. Call me crazy, but um, you know, I, I went on Walmart.com and I think it was it led me to another site that had these on sale. And I I love it. I, I just hook these into uh, the appropriate posts there. You know, you get your wing nuts here and they just you know, clamp on there and easy as that. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about a fuse. You have your breaker here if it trips, you press that button. You've got the test button here to see, you know, how much life your battery has. Charging ports on both sides. Yeah, that's that's nice. I haven't used that yet, but nice to have. And so one problem I run into is I've got my uh, depth finder, you know, that serves as my rudder, and it's got the clips. Uh, so it's really not a problem, but it's kind of a hassle. So I flip up the top, uh, clip my stuff on the post there, and you know, I will. Uh, clip that back and you know that kind of holds the top on and, and there's a space right there so my depth finder wires can come out and not not get uh pinched there so um one thing i i would caution you on is don't use this handle sturdy handle uh, but this strap is you know it's it's enough to hold the top on i wouldn't trust it to pick up this handle pick up by this handle so i just use the bottom to little handles there that are on each side if I'm taking it in and out of my boat, which it doesn't move much. I just charge it in my boat and you know, when I'm, if I'm having to load and unload my boat without a ramp, then I'll have to take this out. But, um, you know, for 50 bucks, it keeps your battery a little more protected. You know, you've got some charging ports right there and it's, it's more or less peace of mind for me. Like I said, I had so many, uh, connections on this thing and, I didn't want to have to worry about, you know, if there was a bad connection while I was out on the water. So went ahead and made this purchase. Hadn't regretted it yet. So I, I definitely recommend it if you can find it for a good price. Got my battery from Walmart. Um, it's, it's been nothing but good. Holds a good charge. Um, I recommend it. Can't remember how much it was, like 70 bucks, maybe something like that. So let's go back to the front. Um, these things come with rod holders and you know, I'm really not much of a cat fisherman or you know I don't want anything holding my rod but myself type deal so I just kind of threw some paracord in there have, have I ever used it no but it's there if I need it so um, all right so next let's talk about my floor here so you can go so many different ways with your floor I was going for um, something that was light and this kind of fit the bill the best underneath here you know it's kind of got the little things that go across that's not very comfortable to stand on it gets really hot um, during the during the summer late fall stuff like that so i went to five below got some exercise mats i doubled them up as you can tell there got me some gorilla tape um <laughs> glued them together or, or uh, duct taped them to, to, together Kind of use a box cutter to cut out all the the lines and stuff, but it it fits perfect. Um, I've got that Velcroed in as well. Never had any issues with it flying out or anything like that. And that's a that's let's see, one, two, three, four. About that'll be about eight pieces. I think they were like I don't know two dollars a piece, maybe something like that. So wasn't that bad expensive uh you see people going with the plywood and putting marine carpet you know just kind of throw down in there that looks good but that also adds weight and loading this thing by myself um if i'm not able to back it in you know it gets kind of heavy so i want to be as light as possible so yeah that's my floor uh and coming on down here um i saw this on youtube you know, just a little small container you can throw plastic in. You can throw your lunch in, whatever. I, I used it when I first started fishing. And then I kind of started not to use it. It's kind of in my way more than anything. 
Um, mainly because I probably went to the backpack, but uh, we'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, I have my paddle, definitely need a paddle. Got some Velcro there, sticks to the Velcro. Kind of stays out of my way. Um, you know, if you like, like that sort of thing. These seats were on Amazon. I think they're Hunter Specialties. Um, I will post something, uh, a little pop-up deal at the end and, and let you know uh, where this came from. Kind of a cushiony seat. Uh, I think it's like a turkey hunting seat or something. It uh, straps underneath there. You can let air in and out, make it firm, make it soft. Uh, so it sticks really good to the chair. Kind of add a little bit of comfort. Uh, I'm not one to sit down much when I'm fishing, especially bass fishing. Um, so, you know, if me and my dad are in here fishing, I'll, you know, I'll sit down in them, use them, but I rarely use my chairs. So, um, let's talk about, let's talk about that. So how stable is this boat? It's, to me, it's very stable. It's got the two pontoons on the front of it. And, you know, again, I stand up in this thing all the time. Uh, and, and have zero issues. Really what I'm wanting to do is actually put a platform that fits right here and goes across to the other side, obviously under my trailer motor there, uh, to lift me up about, gosh, I don't know, I guess that's about six inches or so, uh, to get me, you know, more on top of the water. I like to pitch flip a lot. So, you know, it gives me that much more room to, you know, actually be able to do that kind of stuff. So that's another modification I'm gonna say for, a later date there. Um, all right, so let's go to the back of the seat here. Saw this on YouTube. I drilled a little hole in here, threw me a little clip there. Um, if you've never witnessed uh, one of these, never witnessed, never had one of these, Boomerang Tool Company, uh, little snips, snips through braid, anything. You know, it's uh, it's awesome. And putting it right there, I use these things a lot. And that's the coolest, one of the coolest mods that uh, I like about this boat for sure. Um, so one thing I've done tackle wise is I went to Walmart and for eight or nine bucks, I got this backpack. And you know, it's an outdoor product. And if you don't know about outdoor product stuff, um, it's, it has a lifetime guarantee on it. So, you know, if something goes bad on it, more than likely you'll be able to get a new tackle box. You know, you may not be into that kind of thing, but, um, I've got my, you know, little Walmart bass rag on there. I think that thing's like five bucks, but got one on the back of this seat that's clipped in, drilled another hole there. Um, how much do I use this? Not much. If I catfish, I'll probably use it a lot, but, um, Got my scales there, but so inside of the backpack, if I can do this one handed, we got tackle in there. Um, go on down a little bit. Got my plastics, a lot of rage stuff in there. A lot of rage stuff in there. Um, plastics and whatnot. And then this bag here, or this pocket here. Some of my smaller, all the things here, uh, hooks and uh, tungsten, uh, my pegs, you know, stuff like that. So, and that fits you know, right there on the uh, back of my chair. So, you know, if you want to bank fish like I like to do sometimes, you throw that on the on your back, and boom, for nine bucks, you've got a pretty sweet little tackle box, in my opinion. So, I got this trailer motor on Jet.com. Um, you got it really cheap. I can't remember how much it was. So if you're in the market for a Minn Kota, uh, check out jet.com. Pretty, pretty legit. Got it really fast too. Um, free shipping and, and everything. Uh, one thing that I certainly recommend, uh, on your trolling motor, if it's on the front is to turn this baby around. Um, so when I bought it, the handle was going this way. Okay. Um, and simply all you have to do is remove that screw right there and you can turn the head, put it back in and you're ready to go. So ideally your propeller and your handle, nice little extension there, um, is on the, is on the same side, uh, there on the back side here, same thing with the seat, got that 
little pad there, rag, just all those modifications on YouTube. So, um, another strap that I strapped down the deal with stickers. Uh, okay, so let's go back to that 30 pound thrust Minn Kota trailer motor. Okay, now I had that when I bought it, uh, it came kind of a package deal. Uh, and one thing that I was told uh, on, I use Bass Resource mainly for a lot of my modifications and some YouTube, but one thing that was a must was a rudder. And so I had a fella who, pretty good engineer, he has taken a old trolling motor clamp shaft here, all right, and ran a depth finder, transducer, uh, wires up through the shaft here, attach this with these little, I don't know what you call them, is that a C clamp? I don't know. A uh, big piece of metal here, uh, that's probably, that's probably 12 by 12 there uh, for my rudder. And uh, the wires come up here to the depth finder. And so, as you know, these screw on real tight. So with the rudder here, um, the the Cadillac here, the, the, the really nice thing to have is the old trolling motor shaft and of course the clamps here. Uh, that's just the perfect setup uh, because you can easily clamp something onto that and have your rudder. Uh, another sweet thing about having the trolling motor uh, shaft and clamp uh, is this right here. So I can turn this where it would normally lock in right there. I've got that turned. So when I'm hitting sticks and stuff, say my hand is a stick, um, this lifts up by itself, comes on down and boom, eventually drops back into place there. So, you know, it's not fixed down there. So it's not getting, you know, it's not holding the boat, uh, holding the boat up, you know, getting hung right there. The sticks usually just ride right down it, all the way down to the transducer, and it falls right back down. So um, that's that's a pretty sweet little deal there. So if you can find an old trailer motor shaft with a clamp on it there, that's the way to go. So another modification, if you will, uh, to the bass rider here um, is a live oil. So um, I got this cooler from one of my friends uh, here in town that just had a bunch of extra coolers. He uh, gave it to me for the free ski. Appreciate that. Uh, so you can actually sit on top of that, use that as a backrest. I've done that. And you know, hold your fish. So, you know, it's a seat and a live well. And it fits inside of that very easily. So. Another modification you can think about. So I have fished in this thing uh, with the battery up front, hooked to the trailer motor, no rudder. And let me tell you, this thing fishtails, does not track well. This is a must. So in my opinion, even if you don't have the depth finder on there, uh, you definitely need a rudder. So. Find you somebody, you may be uh, good at doing that. I'm not, I'm terrible at it. Uh, so a depth finder, I really don't have a fancy one as you can tell. All I need to know is how deep is. How deep was he? So, all right, so let's go right over here. Um, another thing that I saw, Bass Resource YouTube, I just threw a clamp right there, bought me some small bungees and this thing will, up to here, kind of hold your rods in. Now, kind of learned the hard way the other day when going to some government land. Uh, left, <laughs> I was going down a gravel road, left my rods in the boat, bad idea. They were disgusting. So um, I've never really driven down the road with these on. I just always put them in uh, my passenger seat type deal these are strapped down as well I do have a lake in my neighborhood and so that's pretty much 
the only reason to have these straps just to kind of you know that three tenths of a mile that I have to travel to the lake uh, you know keep them keep them strapped down don't want to lose them so uh, let's see what else do we have talked about the battery talked about the fuse uh, if you do have a 40 pound plus uh, thrust trailer motor I recommend upgrading your uh, fuse I think it comes with like a 30 amp maybe and that's a 50 and like I said I blew it and melted the wires everything uh, but I, I like having my trailer motor plugged in in the back weight back here because I'm by myself a lot rudder is a must okay. and you know a lot of space on the side you know coffee not my coffee over catching a six or eight pounder a few times but you know you can throw your plastics in these little holes right here and they stay going down the road surprisingly so um the floor again super cushiony uh lightweight i recommend going some kind of exercise mat like i said five belows is what i chose uh, they they had a lot of those so and that's that's been really good to me so I think that is all the modifications that I can think of. Like I said, I'm really wanting to do the platform in the front. Not very big. Probably, I don't know, come down about a quarter of the way, somewhere in there. Go straight across. Have me a little platform, that I, a piece of wood that I can just throw on top there. Um, and kind of like a platform, just, you know, pitching away. Um, so, yeah, that'll be my next mod. But anyway. I hope you have enjoyed my walk around here, the Pelican Bass Raider. <laughs>